Welcome to another video. In this system of radical equations, we want to solve for all the values of x that satisfy this. So the first thing we are going to do given this question is by taking the square of both sides. So just to cancel the square root and pave the way. So we have 2 minus x uh, root of 8. Then we take the power of 2 then equals to bracket 2 minus s raised to power of 2 all raised to power 2 and the next thing we are going to do is so these two we cancel each other after cancelling we have 2 minus x equals to so we try to break this into two we have 2 minus s raised to power 2 uh, bracket um, bracket 2 minus s raised to power of 2 and after this so a is 2 minus x equals to expanding this we have uh, 4 uh, x multiplied by this that is minus 2 x raised to power 2 so then multiplying 2 by negative x square again so we have negative 2 x raised to power 2 and the last one which is uh, plus x raised to power 4 then so if i take this 2 minus x everything i transfer it to the other side so plus 2 change to minus 2 and the uh, negative x will change to plus x then we have negative 2 plus x and then so we have plus 4 so negative 2x square minus 2x square is negative 4x square the, uh, the last term is plus 4x raised to the power of 4 and uh, so if I transfer all this thing here again so we are going to have this as x raised to the power of 4 then uh, negative 4x square and uh, plus x then minus 2 plus 4 that is plus 2 so equals to 0 so the transfer of this one doesn't affect the sign so just like the replacement of 0 with other values at the right hand side and here is a quartic problem but between this x raised to power and x raised to power 2 so there's another term here which is x raised to power of 3 so just like it has been multiplied by 0, so we have this negative 4x raised to the power of 3, uh, x raised to the power 2 plus x plus 2 equal to 0. And to solve this, so without thinking too much, uh, we are going to use a synthetic uh, division approach to find all the roots of this. So suppose we have these lines and we consider the coefficient of each term here so for the first one is 1 the second one is 0 the third one is negative 4 the fourth one is 1 while the last one is going to be 2 so but how are you going to know the correct factors of this equation so we consider the last time which is the constant value and what are the factors of these two so the possible factors of these two are the first one is plus or minus 1 and why the second one is plus or minus 2 so i've tested for this so i'm not, I'm not going to stress you so if i check for x equals to plus one so in this we are going to have um we create the lines then so for the first time we write it as it is then we start multiplying this uh one multiplied by one that is zero then zero plus one is one so for the second one one multiplied by one again that is one then minus four plus one that is minus three then 1 multiplied by minus 3, that is minus 3. Then 1 minus 3, that is minus 2. And 1 multiplied by negative 2, that is negative 2. And so since the last term is equivalent to 2, so which means uh, the first one, which is 1, uh, is one of the roots of the quartic equations above. All right. So then let's see uh, the second one. And uh, we are going to consider this as the uh, continuous synthetic division so for the second one so which i've tested already so we are going for negative 2 not plus 2 so you can do that one later and test for positive 2 is going to equal or not so we have one again written the same way then minus 2 times 1 that is minus 2 and uh, this plus this that is minus 1 so this multiply by this again that is 2 then this and this that is negative 1 so 2 multiplied by this, that is plus 2. And since this is also equal to 0, so which means negative 2 
is also uh, uh, one of the factors of the quartic equation above. Then, so we consider this as uh, x equals to one, and for this x equals to two. So being the uh, the root, and from here we can uh, get the factors. Why for this is it three times? So which means the quadratic. We have x squared minus x minus one. And uh, so here is the quadratic. And for this one, so let's see how to get the factors. So by transferring negative one, we have x minus one. And for this one is x plus two. So for the quadratic above, if we try to factorize this, so we are going to get x minus one bracket x minus plus two. Then for the last one here is x raised to the power of two minus x uh, minus one. So the last one is not factorizable. So that is why I leave it like that. Then um, looking at this, here are the factor of it. But let's see how to solve for the root of this. So for the other two, root has been gotten. But let's see how to get this. And we have x squared minus x minus one. And this is equal to zero. So we can solve this one using the quadratic formula. And this is more of the good the good in ratio. And uh, considering the quadratic formula of let's say we have x equals to uh, minus b plus or minus the root of b square minus four ac divided by two a, where our a is coefficient of x square, b is coefficient of x and c is the constant so putting it here we have one plus or minus the root of one minus four multiplied by everything is a negative one so then we have two okay um, we have x equals to one plus or minus the root of everything here becomes five divided by two so therefore we have uh, two possible values of x here so either x equals to one plus root five divided by two or we have x equals to 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. And so we have gotten all the roots here, which is x equals to uh, 1 and x2 equals to negative 2. x3 equals to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Y for the last one, which is x4 equals to 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. But wait, uh, all these four roots so are just the roots of the quartic we have gotten. But does all these roots satisfy the real given questions? Uh, we cannot do that uh, right now because of the time. So I've tested for it and x2 is not equal and x3 is not equal. It is only for x1 and x4 that satisfy the given radical problem. And this is how the, uh, this problem should be solved. And if you have another better way of doing this, you can drop it in the comment box. But let's test for uh, one of it. So at x equals to one, all right? So we have two, uh, which is one here, and uh, y this is two minus one. You know, at the left hand side equals to the right hand side. So we can test for the second one, uh, which is one minus root five divided by two. Thanks for watching. Don't forget uh, the step I use and subscribe to this channel and like this video. Never stop learning.